the parade's been canceled. If I get another email from Corel, I'm was the parade canceled? The whole thing yeah. Down. So all you've got left is us. Was the no? Was the parade actually? Don't call canceled? me soy. Yeah. Why was the parade canceled? Because everything's bad except for us. Because Fallout seventy six is trash. No, wait, we're bad too. Well, we're we're just the we're worse. We're the uh, we're worse than bad. Yeah. Like we're the compensatory prize. What does that mean? That's a word I'm. I don't. That's like. not a real word. Uh, that word offends. What me. time is it? Please don't say. Welcome, that. just kind of loafing. We're playing a video game. No, I'm not. Oh yeah. Get off your fucking... I put my phone down. Hold on. I had an email. Something really important, but I'll do it later. Do it later. All right. That's Miles. Hi. That's Joe. (laughs) I'm Chris. What up, Doe? What up, Doe? This is just kind of low... Just kind of doofing. We're already dead. What up, Doe? What up, dog? (sighs) All right. We do this sometimes. Yeah. Welcome to the podcast. Gotta say that at the intro every time. It's... Usually pretty close to the start of the podcast. Yeah. That it's said. <laughs> Approximately near the beginning. This is going to go up after I upload last week's podcast. Yeah, we're going to have two ba- back-to-back week? podcasts. We'll probably upload them at the same day, around the same time. So we got that going for us. Yeah, filmed at the same time. It's been a busy week. It's been, uh... Well, actually, I'm going to date this fucking podcast. It's been Black Friday. Hey. And everything's chaos and everybody's Everything's dying. chaos and everyone's dying. Uh, this is the first Canada to have had Black Friday. No, we've been? had Black Friday for years, but this is the first real one. Like, they've been amping up in seriousness over the years. First it was like a quaint little teehee, here's a couple sales, we do Black Friday too, we're Canada. This and, is the first Black Friday Canada's had. Alright. What have you been playing, Miles? Have there been any deaths at this Black Friday this time? I hope oh, so. I hope so. That's morbid, why did you say that, Chris? Poopy doo. That's macabre. Anyway, Chris goes first. What are you been playing, Chris? I don't know. What are you been playing, Miles? <laughs> <laughs> Chris, you've been uh yeah, okay, make a short little list of all the ten thousand games that you've we, been playing. We started playing Paladins. Yeah. That game's cool. I like Moji. It's like Overwatch, but it isn't I, shit. I, I'm not sure if Fuck Moji, Moji's already. a go I'm not sure if Moji's a boy or a girl, it doesn't matter. They're a cute little wizard thing and they, they just have, go back and forth. And they ride turtles. Well, they're, turtle. They ride turtles. They ride turtle. Turtle with heads. Heads. One pukes, one spits. I like that one. One serious, one... I've been playing more Assassin's Creed Odyssey. No. That game's really fun. Turns out the reason I could only play it at high settings is because <laughs> I had fog on. Ubisoft optimization. So after I turned fog off, I could ultra everything all day. Ubisoft is the only company that mm-hmm. designs their games on every platform to run at 30 FPS. So cool stuff there. Played a little bit more Mechanicus. No. That That game's tight, 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 and cool, cool, cool. I got uh, my third tech priest, and I got a new uh, trash unit I could summon in. Who's a guy, a guy with a gun, and he scoots really fast at people and blows away. What is your trash unit? Well, so you have your, your by tech... Tra- by oh, because he's not like a main he boy. He just dies. Yeah, you have your three... Oh, I have my three tech priest dudes. They're like named guys that level up, and you equip with gear and all that jazz. Yeah. And then every turn... Your cognition points that you earn, that's like your spendable... Um, oh, it's like your the mana sacrificial effectively. trooper Yeah, uh, you, you bring a bunch of those guys in with you, and then you can call them in by spending that stuff. And if they die, it doesn't really matter, although you lose them from the pool during your current okay. mission kind of I thing. I thought when you said you got a trash guy, like he has just a bad unlock. And you never no, no, he's cool. Okay. It's just he's a throwaway dude. Just you you put cool. him in the line of fire. Yeah, exactly. Well, yeah, you want your, your tech priest boys... To, to not take damage because at the end of the whole shebang of the mission any damage they have any health they have missing comes out of your rewards so, oh okay so you want to heal up as much as you can before the end and or uh, that's macabre deflect from taking the damage uh what else have I been playing I gave up on Pokemon <laughs> <laughs> Pokemon shit I don't know it's not bad it's just just it's shit. it's not time for me yet. I, I I do this. I think I'm gonna buy it for me. It's a twenty dollar yeah. game. I'm gonna buy no, it for no, it's it's a well put together thing. It's a well put together twenty dollar game. <laughs> I'm a well put together nineteen ninety nine game. <laughs> I'm just only into, not even twenty. <laughs> I'm just only into Pokemon every once every ten years. It feels you like play it on your phone. You should play it on your phone. <laughs> you should play it on your phone. <laughs> you should emulate phone? it. Do you not have phones? Do you not have phones? Chris, do you not have phones? <laughs> no, I have phone. <laughs> I have fun. I have one fun. So you're playing Pokemon on your phone? No, I gave up on Pokemon, and it's not on my phone. That's subliminal. Bought some stuff on Steam. I got Grim Dawn. You bought a lot of stuff on Steam that we haven't played yet. Played a little bit of that. 
Who you played some without me? Just the intro. Okay. Just the tip. Oh. I bought Zombie Army Trilogy. Haven't tried that. Hell yeah. I bought Shadow. You know what that game's about? Zombies. <laughs> In an army. Whoa. A yeah. trilogy of them. There's three Miles, of them. you need It's to, crazy. You, Miles, you need to talk this boy down. He's talking crazy to me. <laughs> So I bought Zombie Army. I didn't play any of that yet. I bought Dragon's Dogma. I didn't play any of that yet. That's You're gonna like game. that one. Yeah, I played, you played it on. The I guess I played yeah. like a couple hours of it on 360. Like, was this just, runs like garbage. That was but the slow mo version. <laughs> yeah, when they announced it was coming to PC, I'm like, cool. I can't wait to actually play that game. Well, sometime. no, you were like, cool. I can't wait for it to come to PS4 and Xbox One. And then there were like, <laughs> and then there were like 30 <laughs> FPS boys, and I'm like, why did you even bother? <laughs> Uh, they didn't do so anything happy. else to it. It's just the same game. At least it stays at 30, but that's below bare minimum. Yeah, bandits. Especially for that game. Yeah, yeah. Should be 60. Game doesn't look good enough to be 30. Looks great, but not good. Bought some other stuff, too. Didn't really mess with it. What else? Start playing League of Legends. <laughs> <laughs> Welcome. I haven't, I haven't spent any money, but I was... Uh, I, yeah, you're gonna. I was actually impressed. You forgot to say yet. Yeah. I was actually impressed with it, though. I was expecting to go in and be like, all right, this is going to be some over overwhelming nonsense. But after playing Heroes of the Storm, the whole it's interface weird. and key Heroes setup of the Storm everything... is the League of Legends tutorial? Yeah, this... Uh, Honestly, there really isn't that much. Yeah, tutorial. League is... Well, so uh, the way I put it, after talking to you, Joe, about it a little bit, is that it feels like the game a game that used to be a lot more complicated yes. and has become... Not necessarily simplified, but like streamlined for the better over the course of years and years of development. It used to be when you start league and you look at things, it's like, what, what is the, any of this? What are not? What are the numbers mean, Mason? I remember that. Yeah, now it's kind of <laughs> like, oh, plus damage, hit thing, get stuff. Yeah, I awesome. feel like I'm reaping like the, the skill ceiling is still crazy high, but yeah, I feel like oh. I'm reaping the benefits of years of design that work. Was you. I mean, okay. And uh, and also my experience with playing yeah a decade later good time to get into it playing heroes has prepared me for this as well because the yeah, heroes um compared to league feels uh, clunky yeah 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 and I like heroes Hero heroes yeah. is a very slow moving moba yeah slow it's clunky uh, I don't feel like I I don't know, things die in league reasonably fast unless it's Cho'Gath. Oh my god! Uh, don't why? joke about children. Why he have he so? He just gets bigger. Why he have so many? Yeah, we we barely know anything about league. Um, uh, other than that, Lux is. God and I think Miles probably knows the most out of uh, all of us about the game. Um, he spends a lot of time doing research about it. It's not true. <laughs> creeping, <laughs> creeping subreddits. He's showing yeah, think, up at RiotCon. Yeah, I think the only thing that any of us know about League is that uh, there's some good fan art out there. Oh, is there? <laughs> and also, some, also some good fan art. Yeah, there's good fan art. There's some good fan art. Um, yeah. Oh. Another thing I've been playing is I was going to get Battlefield 5 because you guys had finally whittled me down after months and was like, just get it. Just do it. We'll play it. You should stop listening. A to and I was like, okay. <laughs> I was like, okay, I'll get it. I'll, I'll get Battlefield. That actually looks okay. I'll give this one an honest college try. And like, I was moments away from making the purchase and you were like, don't buy it. It's trash. <laughs> like, those are my words. <laughs> I'm like, I was at work and I just like threw up my hands. I'm like, are yeah. you... Whatever. Wh whatever. Okay. Delete my Steam account. Let's yeah. bury yeah. myself. It's not even on Steam. <laughs> Delete my Steam <laughs> yeah. account. Uh, but my uh, consolation prize, which is the word I was trying to think of earlier, actually. Uh, <laughs> I bought. We bought Star Wars Battlefront 2. Yeah. This is on sale for, like, super cheap. That's one of the best $10 games I've ever purchased. That game's a lot of fun for $10. Yeah. Yep. The heroes are bullshit. Yes, heroes are the worst part of the game. Especially when you have teammates that refuse to fucking do anything. You mean AFK Yoda? <laughs> yep. And Ray? Uh, who just... They were just standing in the ship like... Lightsaber on, lightsaber off. Lightsaber on, lightsaber off. goes down. <laughs> it's fucking stupid. I still have a hard time picking people out from a distance. I get shot from every... You can tweak your settings yeah. for that. But I want, like, max graphics. Yeah. I don't care about the It runs aspect. well enough that you yep. can play. The only competitive edge I, I've caved to is playing a third person. I don't start... Well, honestly, I generally find... It's the, the maps that I'm getting just shot from random directions and I have no idea where people are... Are just like the wide open ones, like yeah, the more not linear maps. The detailed ones, yeah, yeah, the more linear maps, I have no problem with, uh, except for freaking. Well, I guess it's a wide open one. Is that crate level from the Last Jedi? That's the worst level in existence. Also worst level the worst for the worst movie. movie. Yeah. yeah, like holy crap. 
It's like, here's a series of trenches that aren't connected. You need to get from one to the other, so you have to walk on the surface to get to the other trench. Snipers! Guess what? Everyone is sniping you, and they have giant robots blowing you away. And on PC, snipers are very strong. And very good. Because they can aim, and they can (laughs) shoot with a mouse, and it fucking sucks. Yeah. But other than me complaining... (laughs) Game's fantastic. Yeah. Uh, that's a game to play in third person as well. You just see so much more. That is an eight out of ten game at ten dollars. Hey Four out of ten at seventy. Guys, we were gunning down some heroes last night. Yeah, yeah. I fucking blew yeah. away Maul. Yeah, and I finally found my class that got me up on the scoreboard and playing as the officer. Yeah, yeah. So he's not Buff- playing as a heavy. Yeah, so he's buffing, playing the wrong class. Buffing you boys. But he's making us bigger, so yeah. mm-hmm. not stronger, bigger. Yeah, the designated bigger. <laughs> I'm, I'm the designated and bigginer. And bigginer. The Invigonator. <laughs> Is that a slur? <laughs> That's gotta be. That's gotta be a slur. Somewhere someone's offended about it. Uh, I also bought Plants vs. Zombies, Garden Warfare 2, because it's cheap. Haven't tried it yet in yeah. the game. We'll play what? that. Uh, and then I grabbed Mass Effect 3 and all its DLC, because it's on sale for like the first time ever. Woo! Maybe not the first time ever, but... I'm down f- to play it's an really unhealthy fun. amount of Mass Effect 3. Mm-hmm. Um, I gotta remod mine, though, because... What'd you do? Uh, I wiped my computer a while ago, so I still haven't remodded it yet. Cool. You'll have to run me through all the steps. We'll do it at the same time because it's a nightmare. Nice. And then that's all. Uh, that's all for me. Minutes when you know what you're doing. <laughs> I think that's all for me. I've just been bouncing from thing to thing to thing. The only thing I've been returning to really is Assassin's Creed because that game's awesome. They added transmogging. Yes. I don't. I don't know how to do it. It's not in the game. Did so, you update your yep console? Yep. You guys lied. I can't do it. I don't know. Uh, you highlight a menu. piece of gear and you press. I guess for you, be you press square. On it? Mm-hmm. Then you would it, think so. Yeah. yeah no, not there. You don't, it doesn't, you don't, e- it doesn't have, even give me the prompt for it. Have you enabled it? it you no, know, it's not a thing you have to enable. It's just oh, there. Oh, there we go. You don't have to enable it even. Maybe, the maybe it came to PC first. Oh, and downloaded the package. Maybe it's not even on console. I wouldn't... I would hope not. Uh, I would Ubisoft, hope that's not the case. Console's getting patched first. But it's like, you don't click on the item to pull it up first. You, from like the furthest out splash screen of your gear page, like you... Hover over the item, and I think it's I press X, so you press square if you're on PlayStation. Okay, maybe I'm going into it and search. Okay, Too deep in the menu. Yeah, so for, I think it's from okay. the furthest out point, and then I'll yeah, you try that tomorrow. Then. Mm-hmm. Okay, it's uh yeah, I can make my Cassandra look really cool. I have like matching. Everything's all like black iron on me right now because I don't have a, a lot of. I'm only like 15 hours in, so I don't have a ton of stuff to work with. But I dress my video game characters with more care than I dress myself in Heck real yeah. life. Heck yeah. I wear the same my five shirts. shirt and shorts that I Oh, was that a somber wear. shirt? Yeah, dude. I'm just kidding. I knew it was. I wear oh, the same okay. five shirts, like, on rotation throughout the weeks. So. I hate Overwatch. I just want to make that clear. I just like Sombra. You used to like Overwatch. I used to like Sombra. No, no, no. He used to love Overwatch. Sombra. No, no. He didn't like Overwatch. He loved it. You're spelling... You're saying Sombra wrong. <laughs> I'm just saying this Overwatch He thing. played it a ton before Sombra was in the game. And then when she came to the game, then he played an unhealthy amount of it. If you look at my my uh, PC like mm-hmm. like played thing, it's like Sombra is the bar, and then every other bar is barely yeah. visible. And then they, you stopped playing around the time they made her like the buffest. Yeah, when they gave her infinite. I liked her when she wasn't that strong. Infinite. <laughs> yeah, well, I, I like, think more now. I'm just a fucking. Everybody god. likes Wait, an underdog. They made her permanently invisible when you. Uh, yeah, you like can stay invisible until you shoot. But they reduced her speed boost that it gives you. And that was the reason I played it. It's it's still a speed boost, though. And it you ultimately get places faster because you can be faster the whole way there. Yeah. Rather than half the way there. Because what I used to do was spawn, lob a grenade, then go invisible for the rest of the way. All of my abilities are purely to get back into combat. Because that game takes more than 12 seconds to get the combat, and that's too long. Also, her... Vonder uh, said. Her, her translocator thing has an infinite timer on it now too like it doesn't cool down like she can it's not place it okay you better teleport back within 12 seconds or it disappears it's like no you have the whole thing that's That's crazy also still throw the grenade out of the map sometimes and teleport to it and die I don't play overwatch anymore (laughs) it'd be great if you threw it into the ocean and you like open the teleporter and like the ocean just comes out of you (laughs) the ocean from your belly (laughs) yeah it comes out of your belly (laughs) Alright, moving on. What have you been playing, Joe? Uh, wow. Seppi? You have not been playing WoW. You've been doing your dailies in WoW. Uh, no, I, I finished all of the uh, 8.0 content now. I'm done with Tear Guard Sound. Good news, he's going to get us flying faster. Yes. Yeah, I'm, I'm grinding up Pathfinder in WoW. Because I want to get part 1 done before part 2 is available. 
And when part two is available, 8.2 should come out with uh, with the last achievements for that. And then you can fly in the new content. Like without a mount? Uh, you still need a mount. No, you just can't fly in the new content right now. Oh. Um, like only in the new area? Yeah, in the new area. Yeah, you can still fly in all the old areas. Are there just like anti-aircraft guns everywhere? Or? Uh, it just doesn't work. No, just like your flying mount will not fly. <laughs> yeah. It won't even arbitrarily. Jump. Yeah. Like yeah. it won't even jump. You'll press space to go up. And it goes like... Ree! And it makes its emote. Yeah. It's not Did great. they come up with a lore reason for that? It's just like, no. Probably. Have oh. I found that reason? No. It has the phantom you know, shackles you know, of El No, no, <laughs> like, I was just hey, like... Why don't they fly? I was like, oh yeah, Blizzard. <laughs> That's why they don't fly. Um, so I've been doing that in WoW. That's been fun. I finally finished... I finally went through all of the raid on Heroic. Uh, I gotta do Mythic next, but Heroic was really fucking fun. Um, Gahoon sucks. That's one of the most annoying raid bosses. Is that that I mean, uh, that animated movie with the owls? Jesus, I remember that movie. I never Root. watched it. Legendary: The Owls of Gahoon or Gahool? Gahoon. It's, it just it's it's owls versus Sounds like a Harry Potter thing. What do they fight? Owls fight rats. No rats. Fight eagles. Other birds. No, they e- egos. They fight other birds. Is it eagles? I don't know. Bats. It's like a de- It's like a war. Between owls and something. And this was an anime? It, oh, it's animated. It's like oh. a good CG movie. CG? Yeah. It's a good CG. I, don't, I never watched it. I just remember seeing ads for it. How do you it. know so much about it? Because there was also a game of it. Did you play it? No. What? But I've seen the cover. <laughs> okay, Mr. Knowledgeable. Well, I, just... I saw the cover. I know all of them. Yeah. You goof. Yeah. Yeah, okay. There's no fucking owls in this raid. Or gahoons. Or gahoons. Now, gahoons a big... Uh, uh, larva monster. So, owl. I'm playing some League of Legends. <laughs> Everybody knows owls go into a larva I've been state. playing all the same shit Chris has been playing. Hell yeah. I don't think I've been playing anything else. Uh, oh, PTR for Diablo dropped. Played about 30 seconds that before the podcast. Everything's really strong and it's amazing. I'm really happy. They made the number go big. Yeah, the uh, the new Diablo. Because they're like, oh, everybody's match. mad. Crank the numbers. Yeah, shut them up. Well, it was like, um, like the state that Diablo's in right now, prior to the PTR, is like, really, you're gonna leave your game in this state? Like, it's just rat runs forever. Like, there's no point playing anything aside from the necro and a monk for ZDPS or a barb, I guess. And it's like that. Uh, that, that can't be the way you're going to leave this. Like, the meta for every season can't end be like this. this! Exactly. Not like this. So now there's, I guess, buffing everything to be in line with Rathmas and Pestilence and all of those. So, uh, I don't actually know what the meta is, pr- like, prior to Rathma. I don't remember what it was. But it seems to be going in a better place than it was, uh, than it is. Because I, I guess the only problem is it's going to revert to what it was... Like, two, two big patches ago, which is probably going to be snapshotting monks and uh, Istvan barbs. So, mm-hmm. this is not going back to being any better than it was with the Wrath. At least there's more options. But at so, least it will be fun. At least I don't have to play a Necro to be in the fucking meta. That's Because I hate the Necro so much. I love the Necro. It's, it's, the, it's the slowest, goobiest class they've added to the game. Um, I don't think I've been playing anything else. You know, they should just honestly give every character just a permanent, like, 50% speed boost or something. Mo- like, move faster? Yeah. <laughs> like, just all fast. the time. I would love if Would this... you not use the Necromancer if it were just naturally faster? No, because it's still clunky. Still? Yeah. That's that's your big problem. It's I mean, not... you have to stop to do half of his abilities or her abilities. Like, uh, there's nothing that's just, like, on the go. Um, like, Whirlwind Barb... Uh, Raycor Barb, uh, Yuli's Monk, um, like their cast speeds are so much faster for all their things. They're not over animated, uh, which is my problem with a lot of the uh, early uh, Path of Exile builds. Is they're over animated. Like it's taking too long to do things. Once you get to the latter half of the game, it's like they just speed the animations up. It doesn't make sense. <laughs> Fuck it. Totems everywhere. Have fun. Uh, it's like guns in Modern Warfare Two. The ones that have a slower reload speed they just take longer with the yeah. animation it's the same reloading the scar was just 
Like, <laughs> I guess you can't see what I did there, but imagine you're holding a gun and you're stupid. Uh, and then loading the foul was like, pshink, pshink, and it was ready to go. Oh, pshink! Yeah. Pshink, pshink. It's like, so I, could, I could do this quick, but I refuse. So for that, imagine you're smart with a gun. Whereas the M4 was a and yeah. in the fight. The sideways is always a <laughs> so good. Chunk, chunk, chunk. Like the hard line reloads, where you throw the clip away and a third hand would hand you the... <laughs> yes, I remember that. That was really good. It's an infinite warfare. It was, uh... You had four arms. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> uh, but yeah, that's all I've been uh, not playing. What about you, Miles? I play the same... Let me, sh- let me guess. Okay. Assassin's Creed. No way. NHL. Oh my god. A little bit of League of Legends. Oh wait. Some Star Wars Battlefront. Oh, no, stop. And a tiny bit of COD. Do you live and a little me? bit of Battlefield. <laughs> oh, you didn't talk about Battlefield Five. Oh, Battlefield. You guys Joe. want to rant about Battlefield Five? But I don't want to rant about it. I'm, I enjoyed. He'll my rant experience. about it. He'll rant. No, he liked it. It's just it. it it's not good ga- it, a good game. Is there? Yeah, it's not in a state where it's I can enjoy it right now. Ready. I, and I think what we need to do is it's the same problem with all the other Battlefields. Is because it's such a team dependent game, and the only way our team is ever good is if they have things unlocked. We have to wait for people in the game to have things unlocked. We wait for everybody level 10 so they learn the mechanics. We already know the mechanics, and most people who have played Battlefield do. Anybody jumping onto this, like, it's very clear they don't know how to build up ammo crates. They don't know how to throw ammo down. don't know how to throw health down. Half of them don't understand you can revive anybody without being a medic. Mm. It's just, it's clear that, like, the biggest problem with this game is the players. There were that far, aren't playing the game properly. far too many times where, like... You know, you get your head ripped off behind a crate or something, but you're not dead, right? You're yeah. just you're just sitting there. Yeah. And a teammate just run up and start shooting. It's like, no, revive me so the yeah. both of us can shoot at him. Yeah. And it's not one of those things where it's like, oh, dice didn't lay it out so the players can't understand it. It's that people are actually too Willfully fucking stupid. Ignorant. Yeah. Like they like it has a big revive icon. On it's them. very hard to miss. Yeah. It's like a pop up would appear on the screen that says like revive player. Like, with a giant yes, but then, like, a tiny X in the top of the thing, and like, they hit the X. And it's yes plus 500 points. No. Nothing. Yeah. No, lose the game, and they click on the no. Yeah. So, that's I think that's just the state the game is in like, right now, and it's going to take a few weeks for it to not be in So, buy scene. it on sale. Like yeah. to, to It's illu- not one of those things like Call of Duty, where it can carry the team. Like, to illustrate how powerful the revive system is, and how we used it to our advantage to walk into a bunker that was being guarded by guys. Yeah, me and Miles and Matt, us down, like, run over, heal up. Stand yeah. up and then keep shooting and then the other would die and we just did it and we won the bunker by doing that. Yeah, there was like maybe six of us in total and we just took the bunker against like... Just revived training? Yeah, against like 25 dudes. Yeah. Yeah. Like it's... And even... One even molly my, and some helpy hands and everybody's good to go. Yeah. They're like, we you squeezed your hand. Helpy, helpy hands. <laughs> like and the concept is so is so easy that like we were able to talk Matt into doing it. Matt's usually... Yeah. Matt would avoid Matt doesn't like, like new mechanics and things. He's like, it's a shooter I'm shooting. Everybody fuck off. Yeah, but and, we're uh, like, he no, was still doing the revives. Run over and here and revive me, and it was yeah. It's 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 too bad. It'll I I really like it. It will be good, but uh, Star Wars Battlefront is a good enough substitute for now. Yeah, it's the same game, just in third person <laughs> and futuristic. And, and Star Wars. My and stuff. only my my LMG that can only hit fire is more accurate in this than it is in Battlefield. Oof. And I think that was part of my problem with Battlefield as well is that the first gun I gravitated to is one that you can only hit fire. Yes, that is his In problem. giant, wide-open maps. I just... They gave me the biggest gun. <laughs> no, so. Also, I like how in Star Wars, you don't have to worry about ammo. It's just cool down. Yes, and... yes. And the class I was playing as in Battlefield, we never ran out of ammo. No. Because I was just hitting three. Everybody... No. Ammo packs for you. Now, ammo every packs time that for you, you gave ammo to somebody, did it give you ammo as well? Or do you just have... If I pressed it and I was out of ammo, he'd just be like... An ammo pack. <laughs> oh, is that what like that's the animation. <laughs> okay, it's amazing. Free ammo. So yeah, free ammo. Like he he was doing himself some harm because he wasn't using the assault rifle. <laughs> doing himself a big harm, a big harm, man. Um, I should have done the thing I do in every battlefield: is just start with the sniper until level twenty. Yeah, that's um, why Battlefield Four was at the tippy top of my list. Yeah, like the the Sturmgewehr or the first the starting assault rifle is it was really good. And it's already got the skill tree lined up for you as well, which is amazing. Yeah. Um, because uh, when I was testing the and the anti alias thing, that was the biggest change. Uh, TAA high has latency, like really high latency. TAA low does not have any latency whatsoever. Uh, Did so we have I, that turn? No, you we were have it on that. high. Yeah, so we got to switch it to low next time. Okay. Uh, might be worth trying in Battlefront as well. Although I haven't noticed much latency in Battlefront. I haven't either. So, um, okay. Um, so played a played a bit of League, obviously. Yeah. Um, 
you know, super excited. I'm going to buy a pack of 20 characters and start fiddling through them, see yeah. what's what. Um, what else have we played? Paladins is fun. I always liked it. I still like Overwatch. I just hate Junkrat. Junkrat is the whole reason yes. I refuse to play Overwatch. One hero ruins the game for me. It, and it's amazing. And it's not necessarily that he's overpowered, because I, I, I guess he, he's not supposed to... Suppo- Everyone says he's not overpowered, therefore he's not overpowered. Everybody's always right, all the time. Um, but he is why incredibly is, annoying. Why is he the one hero that continues to kill me all the time, then? I, I should never be able to switch to a hero when I'm angry and suddenly be doing good. Yeah. Like, I'm not that good as that character. Mm-hmm. He just does good. The thing that so. drove me away from Overwatch was just Blizzard's Blizzard. lack of support. Yeah, like same thing drove me away from. They've Blizzard's added things, sure, Starcraft, but it, the game stopped being ex- the game stopped being exciting. Are you telling me that your problem with Blizzard games is a problem I have with almost every Blizzard game? Yeah, it's fucked up. Yeah, what uh, Overwatch gets what three new heroes a year and two maps, something like that. Is that how it's been? What's the new hero like? I haven't tried. I haven't, I haven't booted more. up the game. You no, know, like yeah, what's her playstyle? She's like a lever she action did. rifle. Yeah. She also looks really boring. Yeah. Like, she's not cool looking. Yeah, her ultimate, she calls in a robot buddy who would be way more interesting to play as. Who should have been another character. <laughs> like, another hero. The three characters, the, and this would have been the one thing that kind of tempted me back in Overwatch, is if those three heroes they showed off at BlizzCon were all actual heroes and they were all coming out. And they're out today. Yeah. I would have been like, okay, cool, I'll try Overwatch, because it means you guys give a shit. But at one here, it's very clear that the only thing they care about is making money in esports. They don't no, give a fuck about the, the players. Even just like the... I couldn't really articulate it until I played Paladins, but just the feel of the aiming is better in Paladins than yeah. it is in... Overwatch has so much built-in fucking latency. I've been bitching about it for years. I'm probably crazy. That's but true. holy fuck, are the controls floaty as, as shit. Like, it's, that is not a shooting engine. Yeah. It's not a Twitch shooting engine. Hmm. How is Overwatch... How, or sorry, how is World of Warcraft more responsive? I was going to say, tell that to all the fucking Widowmakers that headshot me. I, then they're, like, they're just like, bang! Then they're like, able oh. to deal with the latency. Yeah, they're used to it Yeah, at that point. Okay. Yeah, anyone that plays Overwatch that, competitively, like competitively, competitively, has to, competitively has to know that there's like latency built into it. And I guess the argument would be is like everyone's on a fair playing field. Latency is the same for everybody. It it's like, like, fuck shit. off. Make him not feel like shit. Just, I, look at, I don't know, Doom's rendering pipeline? No latency whatsoever. Game's gorgeous. Uh, Black Ops. Um, most Battlefields, not five. Um, oh, Battlefield feels the, like, Battlefield 5 feels the fastest I think I've ever seen a Battlefield, though. Like, the most responsive? Yeah, like. I don't know, I feel like I'm, I'm hitting three to throw at ammo, and he's just standing like a fucking idiot. Taking his nose, I, ass. But I think it's if. If they're not at a certain threshold for ammo, you won't throw the pouch. I think I, that's on you. Uh, no, it's an ammo icon. Oh, it does it? ammo, and it doesn't do it. Yeah, no, I feel like this game doesn't do half the shit I tell it to. Um, maybe maybe it's a timer for your pouch to reset. No, because I'll turn to the guy beside him, and then it'll throw ammo to that. <laughs> Damn it, why can't yeah. I? Whoosh, here you go. Yeah, no, and like sometimes when you go to like revive people, it's like, Oh, he's slightly in the ground. I can't revive him. Like no matter where I'm standing, and then some other dude runs up and just revives him. And I'm like, so I guess you're in a different space time than I am. Sure. You dimension hopping. I guess this is just the prequel of Death Stranding. <laughs> I will say with uh, between Paladins and Overwatch, I think Paladins has more interesting move sets yeah. for sure. Far worse character designs overall, I think. Like, there's some that are really cool, but I think overall, Paladin's designs Tony are... Tony Ratchet and Clank isn't a cool character. <laughs> it has a lot it's more... <laughs> I don't know. Overwatch has better character designs for the most part. Yeah, they focus a lot more on ass. Yeah. Yeah, booty. Yeah. Um, Paladin's is... They don't care. Big ol' anime titties yes. everywhere. They don't give a Yeah. Jiggle tits. Like, yeah. No, they... Uh, I remember playing Smite, and uh, I clicked on Poseidon, I'm like, he's pretty cool. And I was like, whoa. I looked at Miles' screen, and it was, uh, what's her fucking Neath. Neath, yeah. And I'm like, those are moving. <laughs> those, <laughs> independently. <laughs> yeah, no, those are moving independently. And then... Uh, Paladins is some of that. Yeah, when we clicked on Paladins, I was like, same guys, what's it gonna be? And then you click on, uh, what's her face, that does the, oh! Where she points and throws her head back orgasmically, and her... I was playing as that uh, Ceres character, and I have that like disco ghost drowning, yeah, yeah, emote, and like her tits are flying all over everywhere. The <laughs> like those can't be contained. She's using the space magic to keep them in her yeah. her 
Were you playing? Coat. I guess was I playing with you? Did you see me with the disco goat? I was playing as that drowning? character. He showed me, but yeah. yes, I know what you're talking. About. <laughs> Just <laughs> incapable. It's like yeah. she was floating in the air and drowning in nothing. Is that emote? It's <laughs> so the most relatable emote I've ever seen in a game. <laughs> Yeah, some of the heroes and uh, paladins are pretty cool. Yeah, yeah, fun to play uh, as. Especially the the chick I was. Who, what's her Vivian? Is it? Uh, the super like LMG like just the chick. LMG chick that gets stronger as you shoot. Which yeah, she's is the um. What was that game? It turned into Fuse. Or was it always called Overstrike? Over Strike became yeah, Fuse. yeah. She looked like the old the character from Overstrike from that from that initial trailer. Yeah, man, Overstrike could have been cool. Was that a Somniac? Oh. Wouldn't have been cool. <laughs> yeah. Um, Sorry to shut that down, Chris. Fucking why, insomnia. Why do you just hate? I hate insomnia so much. That's until we get a deadlocked remastered. I fucking hate them. And you know what? We'll get deadlocked remastered at thirty, and that is the day I fucking kill myself. <laughs> that yeah, is the last draw. Or we're we gonna... get it and it has no co-op. <laughs> you hear, you hear yeah, the What's his name? Ted Price. Like, yeah, Ted Price. If you want this... If you want me to fucking end myself, too. You want this boy gone. You got two, uh... Two easy outs. I got two easy outs. You got one tough decision. How am I gonna do it? <laughs> who, are you, who are you talking to? Ted Price. Oh. Lead guy Insomniac. Games. Randy Pitchford. I see. Randy Pitchford. He kind of looked like he was pointing to the microphone. The Ted Price is in the microphone. <laughs> <laughs> we keep him in there until he makes dead <laughs> Hello, Ted. Hello, Ted. Um... Yeah, no, I could I could go on about um, Assassin's Creed and just played a lot of it. I'm at 67 hours. I haven't found the goat with the Cyclops' eye in its ass. Yeah, Chris lied to you. Yeah, he did. Fucking... No. You then then I, beat, beat up goats on Kefalonia. I've definitely killed 100 goats. Okay? I know I have. And um, I... I, I, I went on the internet for a video. It was like, okay, like somebody do this achievement. And this guy like literally killed two goats and got the eye. I was like, okay, you're hacking. I don't know what Yeah, because you haven't found the goat that he killed. No, it doesn't have to be that goat. You, well, apparently it does because you've killed a handful. Well, no, for goats, me so it has to be. Yeah, yeah. I, I killed a handful and got it. Chris killed like an eagle or something and it dropped. <laughs> <laughs> I don't, maybe you have to be online to do it. No, it's stupid. That'd be some horse. Okay, bring it over. Plug it in. Connect online. I bet within five goats you get it. You think so? <laughs> yeah. Yeah, it's because I'll be in his presence. This always happens to me. Yeah. It's either the internet or my luck. <laughs> One of the two. Um, five I've, goats. I've killed... Uh, I have one more uh, cultist out of the outer ones right. to kill before I'm just to the inner ring now. Cool, cool. I keep hearing you say cultist every time we talk about this, and I'm imagining just the wavy arm guys from WoW. <laughs> they're, like, calling up the tentacles, and they're just, like, rocking out. And I'm like, those aren't in Assassin's Creed. This is a different you thing. You don't know. I mean, they're about as goofy. Yeah. Uh, that's good. That's um, good. I, I finally... How far in the story are you? Pretty much done. No, I had to start over, right? I was answering for me. I was just making eye contact. You haven't even played. <laughs> Shut up. I have it downloaded. Uh... <laughs> When I was originally playing, I'd just gotten past Athens, effectively, so I wasn't... Okay, don't ruin the end for me. I'm not, Cassandra I'm not at the end. Of course she dies. It takes place in, like, 500 BC or whatever. She's definitely going down to Blaze of Glory. Like... I just mean, like, by, by the time we get to... <laughs> but, like, if I can't kill my mother by the end, I'm gonna be pissed, because I fucking hate her, so... Those strong words. Whatever. Is the mic recording? Yes. Good. I'm paranoid about it. Well, we're well, weird time to get all well, concerned now. Well, we're an hour in. No, 35 minutes. 35 minutes. When I said like mother, I meant Cassandra's mother, not my mother. My mother killed me. Mother. No, I could have Cassandra's. <laughs> I said Cassandra's mother. I, yeah, I heard Cassandra. I know you said it right. <laughs> you said, no, you said Cla. No, I didn't. I said Cassandra. Said he said Cassandra. Oh, my yeah. God. You guys fucking suck. <laughs> Is that uh, Clay Sunder? Is that a game? Klassendier. It's my, it's my new god. That's German Cassandra. Klassendier. <laughs> I found uh, I found Marcos. He's on a different island. <gasps> Spoiler alert. Marcos. Who's Marcos? The the guy who... Uh, you know who Marcos is. The creepy, you had to talk to him. The creepy dude who raised you. Why is he on a different island? Oh, my friend! Cassandra! Why is he on a different island? We'll make a vineyard! Cassandra! Yeah, that guy. Like, did he leave the starting area? Yes. He must have... 
Go on another adventure! I'm gonna need to beat up these people again! You're I'll like, probably uh, have to go. Cassandra, look out for the Cyclops! He's <laughs> 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 killed by it. He seems like a he doesn't, fun he doesn't character. Die. Sorry. What? I'll spoil that for you. He doesn't die. He's a good boy. Can I kill him? No. Might have the, the, the story, like the story dependent characters are invulnerable. You can't kill them. Malaka. They're the only characters you can hit and they just don't care. <laughs> I shot Marcos in the head with an arrow and he just kind of like... So you tried to kill him. Oh yeah, of course. Cool. Mm-hmm. I really like the inconsistency in the game of like the Greek accent. It's really good. Yes. It's it like sometimes somebody will say, oh yes, uh, sit on that chair. And other times they'll say, sit on that chair. <laughs> Maybe they just talk differently, Chris. Malaka! <laughs> Yeah. They say that a lot. Yes. yes. And I what like does that. Malacca mean motherfucker, I'm assuming. Or shit. Based or on content. Like yeah. Or context. Yeah, or... these malacas, yeah, man. Cool. They say hiere a lot as well. I think that's like thank you or bless you or over here. Good tidings or fuck you. Malacca. <laughs> See I wanna to go to Greece now and just yell Malacca. Malacca! See what people do. <laughs> just shot. <laughs> it's just like Walk into a fountain. <laughs> ah, Malaka. <laughs> Malaka. <laughs> like standing in the fountain. <laughs> <laughs> um, so after I did the update, um, it made me Game have to better? spend more money. Actually, it does. There's a. It's a lot more smooth. It's got a few patches. Um. It makes you have to do an extra set of upgrades for your boat, which now started costing me like twelve thousand gold each Ridiculous time. Or sorry, twelve thousand drachmi. Drachmi. I can't roll my R's. Drachmir. Dark Mark. <laughs> um, it's my black friend, Dark Mark. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks for stopping by. <laughs> That's the end of the podcast. <laughs> but yeah, you spend your drag mirror. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. It's the dark mark. <laughs> um, That's a Harry like, Potter thing. But like, before... Is it? The dark mark? But Miles has a story. Before... Go ahead, yeah, pay attention. Before the patch, I had like 70,000 mm-hmm. uh, coins... Uh, saved up and, and then the after the patch I had zero because it made like in order to upgrade my boat to where it was like I think it added an extra slot for each one okay so that but it took all your money but then in order to reach legendary you, for each thing wait did I had it automatically legendary. deduct it or are you just yep. saying you had to make those purchases it automatically no like it, I I think what I'm saying is like it kept it kept the progress I had done it just added I another in bar oh, okay so then I had to spend... Okay, so it didn't take the money automatically. No. He had to spend it. I still had to spend it, but like I'm saying, after the patch, I had to spend the money, okay. which I had no... I didn't have to spend before that. So but I, is it better upgrades, or is it upgrades that were there and cheaper before? Better upgrades, right? The, it's uh, it's technically a better upgrade. Just more progression. Though. But it's just... They did... Uh, that. It's level 70. Now. That patch you got, too, should have reduced the cost of upgrading your weapons and gear as well. I don't know if you noticed that. Yes, they they finally uh, introduced the whole mercenary tier list. I'm finally number one, so... You're the best We're mercenary. number one! That's cool. Yeah. Can people hire you to go into other games and That's build them? That's not how that works. Mm-hmm. Yeah. I bet the mercenary system was originally intended to be PvP. Oof. No, please. Anyway, anyway I like that combat, but that combat would immediately fall apart in a... Why? Well, connection-dependent, right? Connection, and it's just... It's just floaty enough that it'd be like... Dark Souls do connection dependent. People still love it. Yeah, but they're wrong. Yeah, but they love it. <laughs> okay, but the the dodging in Assassin's Creed is like... It's like god tier level shit. Like, sure. Then you can dodge a lot. Dodging I'm just saying blood, like it would dodging be very... Dodging Bloodborne was god tier. It would be very hard to kill somebody in PvP. There we go. Then that's a challenge. But it's very hard to kill someone. It's also very hard to get killed because you can dodge a lot. I'm just saying this game needs PvP to be a good game. Right now it's sitting at a 4 out of 10. No, that's Fallout 76. That's not at a 4. 
Do not ever say that again. That game. Are we allowed? That game give... doesn't even have PvP either. <laughs> Are we allowed to give games a negative score? Because yeah. I'm fairly certain that's what Fallout 76 is. Yes. Uh... What is the score a game has to get for like lawsuits to be on the table? <laughs> Whatever Fallout 76. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> We doing newsies now? Yeah, Assassin's Creed has better PvP than Fallout does right now. Speaking of Assassin's Creed... It doesn't even have... <laughs> <laughs> exactly. <laughs> yeah, Miles, that's my point. <laughs> Speaking of Assassin's Creed... Yeah, go. Uh, UB, Ubisoft. Uh, uh, they've, re- they've reversed their plans to censor Rainbow Six Siege. What were they going to censor? In uh, so I'll, I'll try and pull up the thing. But it was in a... Because they're moving the game... To China. Know, yeah, it's coming to China, if it hasn't already... It's going to China. We okay. don't live in China. Oh, it has to put age and stuff goof. in. Anyway, they were going to remove stuff Asian like... Age stuff in. <laughs> well, yeah, they were going <laughs> to... Hold on. They are going to be changing some of the environments to Are take... we actually in China right now? Oh, my God. <laughs> you wouldn't even know it. I'm sorry. Joey, you've successfully <laughs> broken grass. Oh, my God. <laughs> They were going to be changing a bunch of stuff in environments. In they, the game. they had spooky skulls and stuff. Yeah, and they were, yeah, they, yeah, they were going to I don't know skulls. if developers know this. You can just have two separate versions of the game. Yeah, that's the thing. They were going to change it talk. for everybody. Uh, Shh, let them talk. <laughs> I'm part of the story. <laughs> that's the story. <laughs> Yeah, so they're gonna change it for everybody. Yeah, they're which just is stupid. They're, they're gonna take out like to. slot machines and stuff in it too, because gambling and. Why don't they just leave skulls Wait, in it seriously? and put it in China? So they're, they're uncensoring it, or they're censoring? They were it? going to censor it. Okay. And then people were like, "Yo, we get if you have to do that shit for China, but why everybody?" And Ubisoft's like, "We're lazy." It's like, well, we, shit. We, we have to have two versions. Well, we have skulls in one, and then we have just have white people in the other. Like, uh. Wow. Okay. Uh, wow has been doing two versions for years since since the launch of. World yeah, Warcraft. you were telling me instead of like skulls, everyone's it's like bread. Yeah. Censored <laughs> <laughs> all the little skulls, so there's bread, and there's no undead guys. They're just really, really white guys with mohawks. <laughs> <laughs> I kind of want to play that version of Wow. <laughs> it seems like it might be a superior version. <laughs> Mohawk white guy with. Bread in the dungeon. <laughs> Yelling Malacca. <laughs> Malacca. Malacca. <laughs> Maybe that's what Malacca means. White bread guy. in the dungeon. Or bread in the dungeon. <laughs> <laughs> Malacca. Oh, bread in the dungeon. Yeah, it's like everyone's in the great <laughs> hall and Dumbledore's doing a speech. And then <laughs> that is bread in the dungeon. <laughs> and then Coral Man. <laughs> bread in the dungeon. <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah, their reaction to troll in the dungeon was like, "Oh God, what do we do? Bread in the dungeon? People just start killing themselves on the spot." No, just because the doubler goes Malaka, Malaka, <laughs> blows the whole place up. Do you think if you pointed a magic wand at your throat and said "suicido," it would I like it would work? Spell. It would kill everybody around. <laughs> Blow up everybody. No, that's like, the most powerful you, spell. You, you're. Based on the strength of your desire to not live, that's how many people around you it would kill instead of you. Millions. It, it's like a spiteful spell. It's like, you want to die, but instead. I guess, like, Harry Potter never had any, like, blood or gore or anything, right? There were some bloody like, uh, Well, bloody. Like, but. they're learning how to do spells, and everyone's sitting around, it's like, light thing. This is just pixie dust. One guy's like, oh, and someone just takes some blood <laughs> Yeah, you think there'd be way more collateral damage in a like wizard school. Like, accidental things, like, lift up the broom, so like, just cut somebody in half. <laughs> well, it's like, yeah, you, you get all these kids, like, experimenting with magic powers. You, you don't think any of them are gonna, like, make up their own shit and, like, yeah. blow each other up. Like, well, trying to make the, I mean, the feather flow, and he blows it up, and I some mean, guy, like, the... down the hall is like... <laughs> and the, person that they were, the person that was doing that was uh, Voldemort, and... yeah. But he didn't gore he anybody. He exiled him. He uh, just put he lightning on a lot of head. people. He just killed them a little bit. <laughs> <laughs> They're just kind of dead. <laughs> yeah, they're just kind of dead. He which, didn't, which he didn't make th- them super dead. <laughs> it's like that <laughs> thing that... Uh, dead. <laughs> it's like that drug PSA that John Tron did the video on. It's like, oh, yeah. this kid died from prescription <laughs> drugs. This kid died from street drugs. Which one's more dead? <laughs> which one's more dead? <laughs> <laughs> it's the deadest kid I've ever seen. Like, even when, uh, what's his face dies, he just kind of, ah, uh, falls down. Imagine if he exploded all over the battlefield. You know what? The most gore in the whole thing is when, uh, 
When he runs full, the face nose beheads is gone. the fucking the snake. Oh yeah. What's his yeah. face? Neville. Neville. Yeah. They make the most useless character that the OP did. And, the now, and now that we know the I mean, history, nipples the chosen guy. Now that we know that the history of that snake, we know that was a hate crime. Because it was a woman. It's an Asian lady. An Asian lady. I don't care what the nationality was. <laughs> I just know it's a lesser <laughs> being. <laughs> oh no. I didn't say that. <laughs> I'm free. <laughs> are you saying that women are beef? <laughs> beef. <laughs> beef women. I'm so not saying women are beasts. I'm saying women are beef. <laughs> if you haven't seen it, do yourself a favor. I can't even remember what they were called. Google beef. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that'll probably take you to it. It's a group of very funny individuals doing a live reading of a script produced by an AI... And the guy that reads Hermione's character <laughs> does it so incredibly well. It's really good. I don't know who they are, but they're blessed I can't beings. I think we should watch that again. Yeah. Oh yeah, they're yeah. they're blessed by the Omnissiah. <laughs> Can you pass me some Kleenex, please? Oh, there's Kleenex down here. Oh. Next story. Next story. Messy. Take two. Uh, guys, no, wait, he did take two. That's funny. Shut your Context. crap hole. Wow. Take two. You don't seem very lively today, Chris. <laughs> <laughs> you read the news. <laughs> On the next one, uh, take two abandons. I'll take trademark uh, for agent. And now that already came out. And it sucks. <laughs> It, it came out. It sucked. It didn't come out. That was Agents of Mayhem. That's the same thing. Oh, now it's a PS3 exclusive uh, at E3 2009. Okay, what is it? So nobody knows. Uh, they just they were making a game called Agents, and then like a decade later, they're like, <laughs> we forgot about it this whole well, yeah, time, it's dead, actually. They took to the stage E3 2009. I think it wasn't even, like, Rockstar wasn't even there, I don't think. It was just like some Sony dude got up and was like, we're well, pleased to announce Rockstar is making us an exclusive game called Agent. And everyone's like, oh, it's GTA V. <laughs> they're like, oh, it's going to be like spy shit probably, right? And they're like, we don't know. Ask Rockstar. They're not even working on it. Like, ten years later. Nine years later. Yeah. What are you? <laughs> <laughs> Dude, stop. You're What's wrong right? with you? <laughs> so what you said that you're in? Oh, what year? It's 2009? That's crazy. So take two. Uh, I always get the hierarchy mixed up. Uh, there's, t- there's take two. The, there's they 2K, own, they own 2K. Oh, they like, own they're 2K. They're above 2K. Okay. So it's like take two at the top, then it splits down. Rockstar is under take two. 2K is also under take two. Rockstar is not under 2K. <clears throat> like Rock, oh, But Rock's, 2K helps on uh, Rockstar. Oh, I'm maybe. Sure they, they might collaborate. They on got stuff, their picture but... on the box. No, do they? Yeah, 2K is on there, isn't it? No, I don't think so. Okay. It's Maybe the Rockstar. Yeah, I think that's the thing. I don't think take, like uh, 2K's logo shows up anywhere on it. And, what was, and Bioshock was 2K? Yes. With uh, Kevin Malone? <laughs> Peter... <laughs> Kevin Malone! <laughs> Inside of Kevin Malone! <laughs> <laughs> what was his name? Okay, continue. Kevin... Chris. Ken Levine. Kevin, Kevin Levine. <laughs> continue, Chris. Yeah, so that's dead. Fuck Rockstar. They made Red Dead. What's next story? And music. <laughs> and music. Uh, next story. It's not really a story, but I want it to be a story. I want to cool. talk about it. Yeah. The reviews continue to pour in. Fallout 76 is sitting at a 55 for the PC version on Metacritic. That's too high. That is too high. That's amazing it's that high. At 55 for yeah. a scan. I am glad it is <laughs> low compared to what, obviously, Bethesda would want. Because fuck them. But that... There are way too many fives and sixes for did that their, game. Like that's, did their forty-six gig patch do no. anything? Uh, it unlocked the frame rate on PC only. Game still criminal. shit and not done. It's a criminal act. It's alpha. Like alphas are playable. This game's less playable. No than Man's alphas. Sky. People flipped out about that. This is worse. Far no worse. Man's Sky was, Far a, worse. was functional. Like 
And there has been some outrage over this game, don't get me wrong, but it's far... It didn't kick you out for no reason. That's true, it didn't. The <laughs> outrage, my time and then the outrage yeah. for Fallout 76 <laughs> pales in comparison to the outrage there was for No Man's Sky, and that is people st- were, that is retarded, that is stupid. People are asking for illegal action. Against well, No Man's Sky, against Sean Murray, against Sean Hello Murray games. does have a really hateable... Sure. ...face uh, attitude. Oh. Like, he's just really happy all the time, and it makes me want to dislike him. <laughs> um... Probably out of jealousy. <laughs> I zoned out. I'm sorry. It's okay. <laughs> I stand at the Black Ops 3 logo. It's a good logo. You know, I just want to take a moment of silence and stare at the Black Ops 3 <laughs> Sorry. Logo. My bad. You start talking about some Shane Murray guy. <laughs> Sean Murray. Yeah, Shane Murray. Can... <laughs> Shane <laughs> Murphy can, Shane Murphy fuck, can fuck himself. Fuck himself. <laughs> what did he do? Ruin Bethesda? Right. My only okay, point. so yeah, people people need to be angrier about this game. If really? You, like, there has been anger, don't get me wrong. Like, you want to be fucking angry about anything? Like, th- this, this, this is, is the game. Like, yeah. you have you have my permission. Like, but the Fallout 4 Fallout. was a crime, that's, like, how bad But this is an app, like, this is... But this yeah, is Fallout, Fallout 4 was disgusting. Fallout 76 should be illegal. Oh, yes. It was blatant false advertising. Nothing yeah. in the trailers for that game is representative of the actual game. Nothing about their presentation at E3 for that game is representative of the game. It's... Oh. Okay. And this wasn't... I remember when we saw the trailer, I was like, hey, co-op follow, maybe we'll play it. And then Todd Howard said what the game is, and it's like, even at that, that's not good. That's not yeah. an okay thing. Uh, and then it just kept getting worse and worse and worse until launch... Where it got even worse. <laughs> and we're going to use the same engine for Starfield and Elder Scrolls 6. Yeah, a game... The Elder Scrolls 6, a game that is potentially a decade away. On top of all new problems, of which there are many, Fallout 76 has the same bugs that have plagued Bethesda games for decades. Yeah. Oh, can you still jump glitch your sh- way up shit? Probably. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Yeah. They should fix that. Yeah. Problems that have been in multiple game releases been fixed by the modding community, and Bethesda still hasn't reincorporated into their. Yeah, tools. maybe that's uh, one of the reasons it's gotten at least some backlash. Is uh, the modders can't fix it on PC. Yeah, I, I, I generally, oh, really? generally I the the there's no mod support. No. Uh, the, right. the general public that plays on consoles is blissfully ignorant as to the quality of games. Like everybody thinks Red Dead and Call of Duty. Well, then Call of Duty is worse, which is alarming. But yeah, that's the thing. If the standard is, oh, fuck Call of Duty, that game's bad. Fallout, though. How? How? And I don't want to shit on, like, all console people, but there's more people that play console, so there's a larger pool of idiots. Um, If there's more people on PC, there'd be a larger pool of idiots there. Um, The only reason I play on console is because NHL's on it. It's the only reason. Chelsea Sun. And Bloodborne. Chelsea Sun. And Bloodborne. Which runs like shit. What if they made a hockey... Action RPG. We could take your skate off and try and stab it. Shell hits 2003. <laughs> I would play the shit out of that game. <laughs> <laughs> like an over excessive gore and shit. Like you can bet. But it's not. It's not even skate. like a. It's not even like a hockey match. You're just a hockey player in like Yarnum, <laughs> like frozen Yarnum. Like you skate everywhere and you're killing everything with like your bladed hockey stick. <laughs> Yes. I think that might be game of the year. Wait, first person or third person? Third yes. person. Okay. <laughs> third. You press control to switch. Or C. Or C. Horsey. And then you he can't said press it again. You gotta hold it. Yeah, yeah. You gotta hold it. Tony had to change it back. Well, it's obviously the same button. Wait, that just changes the <laughs> Yeah, it's switched over. Fuck! <laughs> uh, Go ahead, Chris. So, yeah, fuck Fallout. Fuck Todd yeah. Howard. Most of the people playing that on console are probably like, this game's huh, great. this game like booted me out because it crashed or the servers aren't up. Mustn't be time to play it. I'll come back later. <laughs> if I had play it on a game on Steam and it takes more than oh. like five seconds for it to boot up, I'm already mad. Like, like hammering Alt F4. Yeah. And if that doesn't work, you're getting even more angry. Yes. <laughs> then he goes into uh, Task Manager and yeah. I blow it up. That was half the reason I refunded Rising Storm. He couldn't alt have for it. You need to give it time. Nope. It's a really good game. I refunded it. It's a really good game. Hang loose. Alright, next shitty story. Riot Games revealed a new champion. 
Nico. That's a pretty good story. A lesbian chameleon lady, and now we're playing League of Legends. Wait. It's like confirm she's lesbian. Oh, okay. I was going to say. Um, yeah, when she's uh, like talking with the male characters, like their dialogue and stuff. It's whatever, whatever. When she's talking to female characters, she's like, slide in your DMs. <laughs> like she's, she's into some of them. It's pretty hilarious. Cool. Um, but yeah, that's the, that, yeah. So that was the catalyst to start playing. Yeah. The th- this is like <laughs> the, our history of League of Legends is I had a ton of friends in college that played it. So I downloaded it and me and Miles played a bit and we're like, okay. And then uninstalled and never touched it again. And then they put out a K-pop music video a few months ago and it's like, Ooh, it's this, like, oh yeah, right, League of Legends is a thing. Yeah, this is pretty cool. This is amazing. And then they put out the trailer for Nico. For and I Froppy am, 2.0. Yeah, mm-hmm. and I immediately downloaded it. So I And then they confirmed she was a lesbian. Yeah. And you were like, nice. Cool. I can I can I can play a game with that kind of mindset. Okay, I got a question for you guys, yeah. completely off topic. Do yes. you think Lara is a lesbian? Absolutely. Oh, yes. Okay. Just wonder. Or I think she might be asexual. She just hates men. <laughs> asexual man hater. I think that's the perfect woman. <laughs> she doesn't see Jonah as a man. <laughs> he. What is Jonah? <laughs> Not a man. <laughs> he's a bear. He's a totem. Yeah, he's kind of like a, a bear pumpkin. <laughs> <laughs> A bumpkin. <laughs> He's kind of a, Jonah's kind of a bumpkin. <laughs> no. Okay, sorry. Continue. <laughs> yeah, so back to the other lesbian. Uh, Nico's pretty cool. What's her, her moves like? Uh, really broken, apparently. In the PTR, she's fucked. So I was watching uh, one of... I can't, I can't remember his name. Tyler. Todd Howard. Todd Howard. I was watching Todd Howard stream <laughs> some. Uh, some of the PTR for League. And... Uh, <laughs> the guy was, like, looking at her moveset and stuff, like, from the trailer. And he was like, she's going to be broken. <laughs> <laughs> she's going to be incredibly powerful. Because the only way to make her good is to make her overpowered. Because uh, of the way her moveset works. And, like, an hour and a half later, all of this footage comes out of people, like, doing her moveset. And just like, oh my god. <laughs> she is disgustingly <laughs> overpowered. And he's like called it <laughs> it was that was pretty good so she's gonna get nerfed and buffed and whatever throughout she the might PTR and changed so she is it, she's adorable so and it, it, is it because she can just like transform into anything no like, just her damage output is insane oh, is oh can yeah. she transform into people yeah she can become yeah. anything like oh, yeah, you should watch apparently. the rest of the trailer actually oh, yeah. uh, it shows her abilities and stuff yeah I uh, the biggest reason I I wanted to play the game was because of that character but the second biggest reason is because that frog in the trailer is my spirit animal <laughs> don't move <laughs> immediately kills himself <laughs> it's absolutely fantastic you just uh, wanted to buy the KDA Kali skin yeah Chris let's be real that's actually what his motives as were as soon as they make her all uh, neon in the game so I guess that's coming in a patch Joe I'm Kali surprised you don't have a body pillow of her yet I don't have any body pillows yet you need to fix that I could Get an I keep a, buying books. Get an own a say, hole. <laughs> you used to thrive on body pillows. No, I had one big pillow. With an own a hole. Not a body pillow, though. Okay. Just a big <laughs> pillow. Yeah. Yeah. Well, there's one for, like, uh, <sighs> like wide mattresses. Uh, but I always rolled out of bed. So I have that there. So there was the wall here and then that. And I still roll out of bed. I mean, you fall, like, a foot. Yeah. Yeah, it's not as bad anymore. But I hit my head off the fucking uh, side table <laughs> that I have there. you need to be strapped in? Yeah. Yeah. I mean, no, I, like, most nights roll out of bed. Even if you start in the corner? Yeah. Wow. What a hole. Or I'll wake up and, like, my head's at the bottom of the bed and my feet are on the other part. Oh, man, I've totally done that. <laughs> what the fuck and is it's I doing? so disorienting because I open my eyes I'm like, <laughs> where am I? Did I fall asleep like this? <laughs> <laughs> what was I doing when I got here? What are you doing to my house? And it's not like I, like, I don't drink any alcohol. I don't do any drugs. Like, nothing that could lead to me just not sleeping like a normal just human being. Popping vol- multivitamins. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Multivitamins. Like, before I go to bed, I have, a like, a whole little <laughs> container of those, like, chewy multivitamins. <laughs> just down that and run a mile of I have a sleeping. fever dream. <laughs> yeah. 
<laughs> Wake up with my arm in the wall hanging out of the bed. <laughs> You're like, you wake up mid-conversation with Fred Flintstone. <laughs> yeah. I'm holding the fan that I have. <laughs> I have so woke- I was working at the quarry. <laughs> I have woken up, like, falling out of bed with, like, the fan looming over me. Like, only the wire holding You thought you were being abducted? <laughs> I didn't understand. I was gonna say, that's so weird. It, it's it's kind of funny to hear how people sleep and stuff, because I'm like a rock. I don't move. Yeah. I don't really Like, move. you wake up in the same way Usually. you went to sleep. Like, I might, I might, like, roll over to the other side, but I it's always... Amazing. I wake up very the same stiff, area. because I, I don't move, really. Yeah. So, like, I have to, like... It takes me a bit to get out of bed, because, like, everything kind of hurts. I become, like, a rigid... So then, like... I waking up with everything in pain. So, like... I'm I'm like yeah, an ideal person. Yeah. I'm like an ideal person to sleep with because I don't move. I'll have to test that. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> so, well, I mean, you're the roller, so yeah, I'm you're the, the I'm the problem. <laughs> yeah, when we used to go camping, um, it would always be uh, with with the tent set up. Would be like uh, stepdad, mom, me, and my sister, and we'd punch each other in our sleep because <laughs> we were both exactly the same. <laughs> There's only been one time where... Or like, she would just punch me. I still haven't figured it out yet. <laughs> There's only the one time... I mean, she's kind of evil. Yeah, yeah. Where I woke up. Or, like, I... Oh, like, yeah, and you, uh... Yeah, like, so I, like, came out of a dream or something. I don't... I don't have rage. I have no idea what I was dreaming or what, but I, like, immediately, like, spun in my bed, so, like... I'm like horizontal, like perpendicular to the bed, and just started kicking the shit out of my side table like it was something I needed to get away from me. Yeah. Like I have no idea what I was dreaming of. I don't have nightmares. Like I never remember anything. But I must have some shit must have been going down because like I kicked, like I kicked it. It you, fell apart. You beat like, the shit out of your night table. Yeah, it really hurt my foot. Um, knocked my fan over and everything. It was I don't think I've ever woken up in a blind rage. Yeah. <laughs> I have never done like, that. Just get a fuck! Ah! <laughs> I'm just imagining, like... Like, you roll out of bed, like, <laughs> and in one swift motion, grab the night table and throw it out the window. <laughs> just, like, get ready for work. <laughs> Alarm goes off. Yeah. <laughs> no, like, you get up, in one swift motion, throw it out, walk downstairs, and then your alarm goes off. <laughs> what? <laughs> <laughs> oh, that'd be one of those things like you, you get halfway down the stairs and you're like wait <laughs> this is fucking <laughs> I just throw my night table out the window <laughs> do whatever don't worry about it <laughs> that's okay <laughs> that is a when I get home from work problem <laughs> oh, there's birds in my room <laughs> <laughs> you know, like, you don't know you've done it. You get home from work and you're like... <laughs> like, birds are moving the furniture again. <laughs> There's nothing on the table outside. And the birds are sitting on it. It's like, motherfucker's at it again. <laughs> Anyways, next news story. <laughs> Rather than adjust their mobile games to comply with Belgian gambling laws, Square Enix pulls multiple titles from availability in the country. So they're just like... Wait, what games does Square Enix have gambling in? Uh, there's mobile stuff. Uh, oh. Look at the list here. World of Final Fantasy. Yeah, it's, uh, it's kind of funny, because it's like, yeah, we're not going to actually adjust the games. It's because they don't know how they made any of the games. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's fucking scary. Yeah, probably. Nice. So it's the games. Uh, Mobius, Final Fantasy, Kingdom Hearts Union X, and Dissidia... What the fuck is that? <laughs> and Dissidia Final Fantasy Opera Omnia. Okay, that's not a game. None of those are real things. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, so I guess people in Belgium are just like, oh. Wait, wait. They're like, phone oh no, games? come back. <laughs> they're phone games and they're not available in Belgium? Yeah. It's on your fucking phone. Just download it from the internet from anywhere else and install it. I guess, like, it's... How are they going to stop... How are they going to stop me from buying my loot boxes? You think the government's going to stop that? (laughs) 
It's just if your region's set to Belgium, I guess they're just not going to appear. You can change that. Yeah, I know, but... <laughs> Chris, we're aggressively attacking you about this. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah. Yeah. Again. Oh, I'm sorry. I'm really giggly. I don't yeah, that know doesn't why. surprise me. Square Enix is trash. Yeah. It's kind of like, it's similar, but sort of opposite to the approach of EA, where EA was like, no, we're not changing anything. Stop us. Fight me. We make so many sports money, you think we do Square was fun? like, <laughs> okay, well, we're not going to fix it. We're just going to... Fine, you just don't get it. We're them. just going to take our toys away. It's like, dude, nobody wanted your toys. Yeah, they look at their income from Belgium, and they're like, whatever. <laughs> Fuck Belgium. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck Belgium. <laughs> Alright, so moral of that story. Square Enix sucks. Onwards. Mm -hmm. I hope they disband in all Square Enix games. Just I hope away. Belgium buys Square Enix. <laughs> Wouldn't that be amazing? <laughs> <laughs> and then puts loot boxes in everything. Yeah. yeah. Just to spite them. Oh my god, that would be so funny. <laughs> Uh, Next story? Yeah. Black Ops 4 put out uh, like a two-weapon skin bundle. No. And it cost 20 US dollars. But you only get one of the skins right off the bat. The other one you have to like grind for hours and hours and hours for. It's like it's its own little mini battle pass. That doesn't make sense. Yeah. <laughs> Why would that happen? See, I was almost about to spend $20. Don't do it. I'm glad to eat it. Yeah, you only get one skin. Remember when we bought like Black Ops 3? Like, I, the I never did that. The, uh, sorry, Black Ops 2. Um, we bought the magma skin for a dollar fifty, and you just had it. Yeah, yeah. and the bacon skin, mm -hmm. and you just had it. Yeah, and even that was upsetting because it wasn't a part of the season pass that we paid for. What what is happening? <laughs> Twenty dollars for two skins, one of which you don't get. Not included in money. the sixty six dollars season pass. No, that's what they're doing though. They're making money. <laughs> Right? How I, many yeah, people, someone's paying for it. Well, I was going to say, how many people look at it and go, Yeah, we really like that skin purchased. Yeah, only in $20. The, uh, in the words of Ubisoft, if you didn't fucking buy it. Yeah. <laughs> no. They're not wrong, yeah. though. <laughs> but, like, there is a place for, like, micropayments and stuff. Perfect example are games like Paladins, League of Legends. Like, free games. Because it comes with the territory. You got the product for free. You can enjoy it for free. If you want to have more... Pay up for it. I feel like Vonderhaar is like when people ask him about microtransactions, like, are you going to have them? He's like, if you idiots would stop buying them, like, he would be like that Ubisoft guy. Yeah. Oh, Vonderhaar totally is. Uh, I love you, Vonderhaar. He's like, if you fucking retards would <laughs> yeah. stop buying and it's not, you guys going to buy it, probably, then yeah. Of course and we're and it's not to. just a case of, oh, if you would stop buying them in other games. Like, no. Like, people are buying them in these full paid experience games. Yeah. That's what's encouraging it to continue to happen. Yeah. So fuck off. Fuck off. Whatever. You guys deserve it. Fuck Man, me. the first game that we really went hard in the paint with that was Mass Effect 3, eh? Yeah. Yeah, you're part of the problem. Yeah. We facilitated the problem, yeah. yes. Yeah. But you're also not really complaining about it at all. I don't give a No, I'm so glad I spent money on it because I never got a Cerberus. Dude, if those packs. $20 fucking... If those $20 uh, camos were good... <laughs> Pay twenty fucking dollars for those camos. I don't and then grind like, out the second one. I yeah, absolutely. I honestly, I if still, it's something I, I want, I will pay for it. I need to see it before I'm gonna say no to it. <laughs> so if it's a the, really good camo. We'll see if the link it. I have. Uh, don't oh, bother. No. Don't bother. It's okay, Chris. It's we got right. you. I'm, I'm not gonna upload a picture on this podcast because I got to upload two of them this week. Well, no, just to show my house. No, it's he's okay. over it. I'll find it. All right. Yeah, no, if, if you let me if you let me see what it is that I'm buying and it's not necessarily a loot box, then I'm I'll I'll, I'll buy it for whatever. But no, I'm I'm not gonna complain that games have loot boxes. Cause they didn't sell the loot I either. just I laugh at the people that do complain. As if their complaining is gonna make a difference. Yeah. Like, okay, convince the masses to stop buying. Yeah. The whatever. one time that worked was Battlefront two, because people were loud enough. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. If I, I it's like uh, I, the people that buy Fallout seventy six. I'm not going to be like, oh, you should all stop buying it because you're stupid. And no, you it's like you it. all deserve it. Yeah, yeah. You can fuck yourselves. This game has zero effort put into it because all you've asked for all these years is zero effort. Yeah. I do hope that because I've seen some of it out there. I do hope that seventy six is just absolute trashness that people are pointing out. Uh, admittedly, not in enough of a mass that I'm happy with, but yeah. it's starting to seem like people are getting fed up with Bethesda's shit, uh, and it's like applying retroactively to their old games, where people are like, 
after experiencing 76 or hearing about it or whatever, they look back at their old games like, it's been the same shit all along. No, nothing's like, nothing's changed. improved. Nothing's... It's just been getting more broken as time goes on. But that's just always been shit. And, like, I, the the rose tint is starting to fade, I guess. Yeah. yeah. I, I would hope. Uh, at least in microcosm, it is. But I hope it's widespread. Me too. Somehow found a way to say fuck Bethesda. Fuck them. Want to end on a high note? No. Fuck sure. Sony. On a, yeah, on a fuck Sony note? Oh, sure, yeah. Yeah. Uh, Sony bans, then proceeds to proceeds to unban after backlash, a Mexican player who uses, uh, or for using a common short form of his real name and his PSN ID. Uh, the guy's name is Enrique. Uh, his username was Kike0615. Kike is spelled K-I-K-E. Oh, that spells Kike. Yeah. Which is a racist term for Jewish people. Yes. It's not spelled like that, though, is it? No, it's with a Y, I think, in the the racial slur. Um, He had used that name for over a year, spent hundreds of dollars on his account, and just banned out of nowhere because of a... Because the person left in charge of making that kind of decision is not of the culture in which that account was created. It's kind of like the same situation as the the whole censorship thing with with Sony as well, where it's like you guys are being made the arbiters of stuff that you don't understand. You are choosing to take offense at things that are different in another culture. Yeah. Um. Like Kike is just short for Enrique. It's not a Jewish slur. Just because it's similar, like I'm sure there's thousands of words in the English language that you can then apply to other languages and and, and, and find offense with. Yeah. Uh, like, I don't know. It, I can't it just, think of any, but I'm sure they sure, exist. Sure, yeah. It just goes to show the absolute... I like, I think, it's kind of beside the topic, a company should never ban for usernames. Yeah. Whatever. If it's terribly racist and stupid, then it's terribly racist and stupid. Deal with it. I like companies that censor chat stuff without the option to uncensor, uncensor it or <laughs> ban for chat stuff. Like, fuck off. You, you Okay. Uh, you're trying to make your game safe for everybody, and it's... No. Emotionally weak species. Yeah. yeah humans uh, it's, it's, Humans need to be protected because they're worthless. We need a god emperor okay. to whip us into shape. Yeah. The Imperium. <laughs> That's the end of the news. It's on to Warhammer talk. Speaking of which... Speaking of the Imperium... I, uh, I'm almost done Horus Rising. Have you read any, Miles? I've read up to... Um, I'm just finishing Chapter 5. What was the last thing that happened? <clears throat> right now, I think... <clears throat> I think I'm kind of in a lull yeah. area right now, unfortunately. So, I was trying really hard today to read. Mm-hmm. And I just all of a sudden got bored and I had a shower instead. Because yeah. that was way more fun. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I was trying to read this book. I just got bored and had a second shower instead. Um, it was all my, of the, it uh, was my first shower. No, but it, it's more funny if it's your second shower. All <laughs> of so the, you know, I have another shower. <laughs> 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 like you get out, sit down to read. Like no, okay, so I go shower again. <laughs> um, uh, Loken, Loken was folded into the the Mournables. Yes, um, cool. that was a really cool thing. Um, and then almost ritualistic. The the next. The next chapter is following um, uh, Caracas. Is that Car? I don't know. What Carcassy. It Carcassy. Carcassy. Uh, I can't of, read. Understand any of them. One of the remembrancers, right? Oh, and, you're uh, at the slowest part of the series. Yes, it yeah. gets. It and, picks up after that. Okay, again. I'm assuming but also that that whole moment leads to some good stuff. Well, it, so yeah, it means a lot. I'm assuming that there's uh, based on what I was reading anyway. One of the soldiers had just casually mentioned to him that. Um, there was still kind of an uprising coming, it, yeah. it seemed. And I'm assuming that that's what the next chapter is leading into. A little bit. Is that there is going to be a somewhat gunfight, I'm assuming. I can't imagine it's much, but... Does uh, it lead directly to? Well, no, those two events aren't necessarily linked, but, like, I guess there is an overall state of discontent on that planet yeah. that leads to the events of... The Whisper... The Whisperheads. Whisperheads, okay. Yeah. Um, so yeah, so uh, and what's his fate? Whatever, what did you say his name was? Carcassy. Carcassy. Um, he's just currently wandering the streets right now. Yeah. I stopped uh, getting progressively more drunk. <laughs> yeah. I oh I haven't seen that yet. Okay. okay. Um, yeah. So the, yeah, there's a reason it explains what he's doing. Um, you could probably just sift through it though. It's not honest. You just need to know that he's a colorful poet. 
Yes, I, I found that out. Um, also, you kind of got... Uh, um, it it kind of delved a little bit more into the uh, the ever-living Astartes. Yeah, yeah. Um, uh, saying that, like, they are effectively immortal, but they're not invulnerable, right? Yeah, like, it, it yeah. started to delve They'll into They'll live that. forever, provided they aren't killed. We are, the, the, Loken says, you know, we are built to live forever, yeah. but we will die. It's just how it yeah. works, kind of thing. And and one, yeah, one of the scariest things about the Astartes is, like, we're built for war, but what happens when the war ends? Mm-hmm. True, yeah. So, but, I mean, but that's they, the rub. It yeah. never ends. Yeah. Well, but then, like, but you were saying, like, they're they're sent to do, like, to, to read, and, yes. and they're done to do, or they're sent to do all these things to remain. Yeah. And this, kind of at human. this point in time, I don't imagine that's true in, like, the 40K time. No, no. At no, that point, they've probably given up on that at that point. Well, yeah, the, uh, because you read the intro to the Horus Heresy, and it's like, yes, everything's getting better, and it's amazing, and then you read that little intro blip at in front of all the Warhammer 40k books and it's like, like no there's war the forever. grim future and there is only war <laughs> well yeah i think it says that right like yeah. that's that's like almost like a that's the tagline right? of like warhammer 40k it's like in the grim future there, there is, is only, only war. war yeah this is it you can read better than i can do you want to read that the whole page? yeah in the 41st millennium for more than a hundred centuries the emperor has sat immobile on the golden throne of earth he is the master of mankind by the will of the gods and master of a million worlds by the might of his inexhaustible armies he is a rotting carcass writhing invisibly with power from the dark age of technology he is the carrion lord of the imperium for whom a thousand souls are sacrificed every day, so that he may never truly die. He is capitalized, by yes. the way. Yes, yes. Well, he is the god, right? Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yet, even in his deathless state, the emperor continues his eternal vigilance. Mighty battle fleets cross the demon-infested miasma of the warp, the only route between distant stars, their way lit by the Astronomican. <laughs> <laughs> New word. <laughs> the psychic manifestation of the Emperor's will. Vast armies give battle in his name on uncounted worlds. Greatest among his soldiers are the Adeptus Astartes, the Spice Marines, bioengineered super warriors. Their comrades are... Well, the <laughs> Me too, man. <laughs> Their comrades in arms are Legion, the Astra Militarum, and countless planetary defense forces, the ever-vigilant Inquisition, and the tech priests of the Adeptus Mechanicus, to name only a few. But for all their multitudes, they are barely enough to hold off the ever-present threat from aliens, heretics, mutants, at worse. To be a man in such times is to be one amongst untold billions. It is to live in the cruelest and most bloody regime imaginable. There are the tales of those ta- Oh, well. These are the tales of those times. Forget the power of technology and silence, for so much has been forgotten, never be, never to be relearned. Forget the promise of progress and understanding, for in the grim, dark future, there is only war. There is no peace amongst the stars, only an eternity of carnage and slaughter, and the laughter of thirsting gods. So that, <laughs> that little blurb, that page was... That was... <laughs> For me, where I was like, yeah, this series is the best. Like, this is the best sci-fi Like, thing there used ever. to be a time when humanity... Because the Horus Heresy intros that it's like, yes, positive future it's like, that they're working towards... Well, it's like, yeah, we're going to war and we're going to slap down opposition, but where we can... It's we're gonna... for unifications, for bringing humanity back together to the golden age. So where is it going to turn, then? During the Horus um, Heresy. In then, Galaxy right? and Flames. The oh, yeah. Do, do, do things start to turn there by the time? Oh, yeah. By the <laughs> yeah, time yeah, my, my book is done? Uh, by the time your book is done, um, like the catalyst. Up. Okay. The, so the, like, the, the thing that causes all to happen. I have like a half catalyst. hour left in audiobook. And... Yeah. Okay. You're, you're at the Interax? Yeah. Yeah. After, yeah, the, the end. The end of the book explains kind of. I want to get there. That sounds fun. It's it's really good. Yeah, I, the the downtime in Warhammer, uh, aside from Carcassi's little adventure, is all really interesting. Oh, is it um, okay? Because I, I was finding it very hard. To yeah, his focus. his is the least interesting kind of downtime thing that there is. All of the rest, you start to see the effects of the uh, Emperor viewed as a god start to come through a little mm-hmm. bit, and there 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 is a progression um, where but, all uh, of these side characters. I mean, don't you think it's kind of funny that they moved away from a spiritualistic like sense and shit, and yet they just it? 
follow one dude as a god. It's like you're still doing yeah, the same thing. Yeah, because right now the Emperor However, is just the a only, dude. The only difference is that he's actually there. Yes. You can see him, right? Yeah. Well, like, yeah, at this point in time, in at least Horus Rising, they, like, they defer to him completely. He is their, like, absolute fearless leader, all-powerful, what have you. But he's not a god. But he refuses and actually would, like, punish people for referring to him as a god. It's like, no, absolutely not. We're getting away from that. But obviously over time. <laughs> over the course of these three books. Yeah. Well, it's just well, it's just kind of backwards. Well, as per that so. description where he's like a, a carcass barely kept alive, it's like he's not in no position to even deny people to refer to him as a god. Like, he probably has no will at that point. I mean, your brain... I mean, no, he might. He might. Oh. I mean, isn't isn't it at that point like? I mean, he probably has some super brain, right? But there's some stuff he has. I won't spoil it because that uh, will that. Oh, will so ruin. you like where you are in like what like the flight of the Eisenstein? Like it's getting there. Or no, you're, I've where read, you've read ahead. I've read some other stuff. Okay. The, the lead to it. Yeah. Um. Um. I, as far as I'm aware of, no books cover in detail, which kind of sucks. Oh, okay. Yeah. Like he's like, he's like. The first of the super soldiers, right? And then he just creates an army underneath him, kind of thing. Like his genes are used to create the his primarchs. His genes are mixed with something else to make the primarchs. And that's really cool. Is that in the Horus Heresy or that something? That is in the Horus Heresy. Cool. In the second book, in False Gods, it covers what exactly happened to create the primarchs and why shit's going wrong. Okay. Uh, which is really cool. Hmm. Yeah, and it seems like uh, the progression is you're either. Uh, on Horus's side or the Emperor's, and that's the the heretics, I guess, is Horus's side at that point. Cool, because it's a um, heresy. Do the books do the books continue to follow multiple characters all the time? Do you come back um, to old characters? Yeah, the the main characters in the the trilogy um, from Horus Rising to Galaxy and Flames is Saul Tarvitz, um, Loken. Uh, Cinderman plays a really important role, but he, it, it doesn't follow his and perspective too much. And Keeler. Uh, Keeler and Cinderman together. Okay. Um, it create a progression of their own I stuff. I like Cinderman. Um, mm-hmm. And then, yeah, you see less and less from Horace's perspective as Loken goes back and forth between being close yeah. with him and not. Well, I guess you never see anything from Horace's perspective. It's always someone else in the room with Horace, really. Correct, right? correct, yeah, yeah, yeah. He's just um, there. I guess you see less and less of Horace himself. Right. Um, the Flight of the Eisenstein follows Garrow, um, who is one of the Death Guard. Uh, and um, it starts about halfway through Galaxy and Flames and then covers the events of Galaxy and Flames from his perspective. And then it's going to lead to, I guess, Fulgrim's book, which is the fifth one. Uh, and then all of the other ones spin off into other directions, all covering the same thing. And I guess the book that's going to start the end of the Horus Heresy is supposed to be coming out early next year, um, called, I think it's called The Assault on Terra. Ooh. So, yeah. That sounds cool. Yeah. That sounds like something that would lead to the Emperor being corpsified. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. I can tell you what happens. That'll well, I mean, I mean, I guess it's not in books, so I don't know if it's considered a spoiler. But if yeah. it's something planned to be in a book, it will be in a book. But yeah. in the next five years, four years, three um, years, ten years, we're gonna see the start of it, and I don't know how many books it's supposed to be, and it might not be for four or five years. I mean, kind of an kind of an interesting thing that you can kind of pick up on um, from when Chris was. Chris is doing that is like the sacrifice of what was it ten thousand souls a day to keep him alive. Yeah, they sacrifice so, a, a thousand psychers at least to keep the emperor alive. So that that so either that's for like organs or I, I just feel that's like some straight up magic shit going on. Yeah, because uh, what I'm <laughs> like, what I'm led to believe is that the emperor is hooked up to a machine and, and is completely move. immobile, but still has power. Yeah, because, like, um, but he has like otherworldly power, right? Like, is he like a yeah, psyker kind of something? I guess because um, uh, Layman Russ, one of the the warlord of the uh, Space Wolves, uh, ends up doing some stuff. Things go wrong, and he goes back to the Emperor, um, and he comes back out reinstated as a Primarch of the Space Wolves um, with power, and he's he's ready to like go. Imbued. Interesting, yeah. Like, yeah. he can bestow power on uh, He seems to be, yeah, uh, wh- whether it's re-energized at seeing the 
their god. So he was like super kami guru, and he like unlocked yeah. the potential. Uh, yeah, <laughs> yeah, that's that's okay, what it seems so. like. I don't know, I don't know, because it didn't. There's no book about, it, as far as I'm aware of, that oh. says how it happens. That that just sounds like magic to me. That that's I know that Warhammer, like War. the original Warhammer, delves into like there's magic and shit. I wonder if 40k Almost actually... all magic is based on the warp, so we can assume... Because that's the reason the Emperor went back to Terra, is to learn about the warp and do more research into it. Um, I think the Emperor knows what's happening with Horus already. Um, he probably knows what the whole... Like, I guess in like the most current time of 40k, what the whole warp scar is, yeah. too. Yeah, yeah. Because yeah, he seems to know way more than he lets on. Um, is he like Doctor Strange has seen like the 50 million universes, uh, futures cool. and like is like, okay, shit's going to go bad for this much time, but in the end... That'd be really cool. It was the only way. Yeah. Yeah. Trust me, it's the only way. That's cool to see the progression of what seems like such menial tasks. Uh, but uh, the part you're at, you've seen uh, Carcassi describe the Titans, right? How fucking cool that is. You yeah. get to see that shit deployed. Uh, nice. It is okay. the coolest part. Uh, you get to meet the... Uh, Please tell me that's when, like, in a few, like, maybe even a chapter of what I'm at. I don't think no. it's in this book. Fuck. It's in False Gods. <laughs> Damn it. Um, the Moon of Davin <laughs> is, uh, is where you start to hear about Planet it. Murder's pretty cool, though. Like, even... Planet like... Murder is where you get introduced to Salt Harvitz, and your, one of your favorite guys is going to be uh, Lucius. Lucian? Oh, I fucking hate Lucius. I know Miles is going to love him. I, I know you're gonna love this character. I love him. I think he's a, he's amazing. Does, does he's he, an asshole. Does he redeem at all? No, no. he gets worse. Oh my god! Nice. <laughs> I like I like him for his ability. And you're gonna like you're gonna like Lucius, and then you're gonna like Loken even more after their engagement. <laughs> yes. Um, you're gonna love their engagement. Yeah. Do they? Do they? Fight? Uh, it's friendly. A sparring um, match. Yeah, I think you're gonna like Salt Harvitz a lot. Uh, I really like him. Um, Everybody likes Salt Harvitz. And the that's, whole... a, that's the thing. Like. Uh, like uh, Saul and uh, Lucius are like part of the same whole brigade or whatever. They're part of the the uh, word bearers or world leaders. I thought they were the emperor's children. Oh, that's what it is. Yeah, that's what it is. Um, they're all part of that crew, and like pretty much everyone in that crew is because of things that happen on Planet Murder are treated like y'all fucked up. You suck, except for Tarvitz, because like when people get there, Tarvitz is like. Yeah, I know, right? <laughs> <laughs> it's, it's amazing. Like, and like Torgadon, who's like the first one on the scene, yeah. is like, you're the only one who seems to have any sense. What yeah. happened? <laughs> like, what the fuck is going on? <laughs> it's so good. That's where you meet Eidolon, who'll become your least favorite character. Well, and that's why I hate I Lucius, because he's just Eidolon, like a baby Eidolon. I don't see... Uh, but he's actually badass. Of the characters that I've met so far, there isn't really anybody to hate. Um, I'm kind of... Oh, I've, yeah. kind of, I've yeah. kind of already built up this opposition to the to the emperor already. Like I I don't like the whole like super being god figure. Yeah, yeah. Like, I, 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 I think you're really gonna I think like you're that. gonna be disliking the emperor until false gods, where it's like, yeah, no, the emperor. I see what he's doing. I get it. Um, cause, yeah, because I was siding with Horus until I saw until you see, until you see what the warp is and what the emperor has done to get to the point where he is. Again, my speculation is that it's just magic. Like, that. that's... Um, Space magic, though. No, I know, but, but what yeah. I'm saying is, like... Would I, explaining the warp be spoiler? If it gets explained. Okay, then it's spoiler. Ah! Uh, I don't think it's explained in the book. I don't think I read it in the books. Alright, well, what's the warp? I don't... Yeah, you know what? I don't care. Um, I, it, it'll just from, either... From my understanding, the warp is, like... It, it's another world, like another yeah. dimension where they can harness this energy from. I'm sure that's been explained. I mean, or um, even if it's not, like, that's obvious. But like, that's where the, like, these old gods reside. Mm -hmm. um, these these infinite powers that only have power in our world through beings. Oh, okay. I don't know if that's too much information. No, no, no okay, but, but it makes sense. You can kind of see... Okay. Like where things are about to go, it's it's called the horse heresy. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah, really. <laughs> so, um, okay, yeah, you're gonna, and I guess that you're gonna know by the the last sentence of Horus Rising what's gonna happen to Horus, cool. and things I guess start you to will kick too. I just mean he's things gonna... are gonna start to. I was like, oh man, I'm just stupid. <laughs> things are gonna start to kick off soon for you. Like 
the things start going in a direction with the Whisperheads, right? Yeah. Um, yeah, the Whisperheads. And, and that's another conflict guys. that, like, ultimately isn't that good. But just, like, the, the first part of the, with the Terminators yeah. and all yeah. like yeah. And you still don't know what the mini city was that they created inside the Whisperheads. Man. I guess, I thought there were, like, shrines for... Yeah. No? Yeah. So are the Whisperheads, like, a different... It's a place. It's a place. Yes. Yeah. Yeah, it's a mountain on the... Oh god, what's the planet called? Six, False Tara? False Tara? Well, the, yeah, I mean, they're, 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 they're kind of referring 63, to it. 6318? 6319. Okay. okay. Yeah, they stopped using numbers for the planets. They start giving them names okay. throughout the book. Because um, I thought it was like 6319 because it was the 19th planet that the expedition yeah. was yeah, made compliant. Yeah, it's going to be like the Davin, the moon of Davin. Um, or Devon. I haven't read it. I just read Davin every time. I think I heard someone refer to it as Davin in Horus Rising. Okay, cool. <laughs> um, Davin, there's... the moon of Davin, the second moon of Davin, the third moon yeah, of Davin. Yeah. Can't tell them apart. It's but... just fucking moons, dude. Lord Reginald Davinson. <laughs> of Davin the third. Davenport. Yeah, there's a... Uh... Yeah, the, the warp is... Uh, the warp seems... Are really cool, but yeah, it's basically magic. Like it's yeah, it's, mean, it's this yeah, alternate you said world there that's energy seems, drawn from. Seemed like it wasn't beyond what I. Yeah, uh, yeah no, and yeah. like I, I was already kind of putting that together, basically yeah. anyway. No, but so. I feel like that's like yeah, it's never explained even, even before. It's, it's implied enough that yeah. even before getting into anything forty k, like that's I feel like that's the general Space understanding. Magic. Well, no, it's like it's a alternate realm they have to travel through in order for warp travel to work, but it's also. Where they can harness some energy and power from, but there are beings there. That's that... one of the biggest things that's about to happen in Flight of the e Eisenstein. Um, Garrow's like, because uh, right, he's talking to the ship captain, he, and he's like, we gotta fucking go. Like, we gotta get the fuck out of here. Is the warp clear enough for us to go through? And the captain's like, no, like, warp storms have been crazy lately. There's there's no way we can get through it. Like, we can get through it, but we have no idea where we're gonna end up. He's like, fine, shoot us, go. Yeah. Like, they need to leave so much that it doesn't matter where the fuck they end up. And the wow. whole thing, too, is... Yeah. It's gotta be crazy. It's then. pretty intense. They haven't... Yeah. Really, they haven't <laughs> yeah, the events of Galaxy in Flames is Galaxy in Flames. They haven't uh, referred to it all, at least in the, the Horse, uh, Horse Rising, but my understanding of warp travel as well is they must have it at this point in time, even before 40k, is in order for warp travel to work, they have to use something called a Geller Field. Right? Is that something created by a machine or by a person? Is that like a psyker that does it, or is that like that? I'm not sure. Okay, but it's like a. a I might have missed that, or it hasn't covered. It's it. like a field that gets projected around their vessel to prevent, I guess, warp entities from. Oh, there is a. Uh, would would that it, super would it not be mind. like more than one person to do that? Or though that seems like an incredible, yeah. incredibly hard task to do by yourself. Uh, there is some psychers that are like crazy, fucking powerful. powerful. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Do you but, meet them like they have their own names? And stuff, uh, there's or? one that you mean. She's super badass. Um, but even with all of her infinite power in front of the Primarch, she is still nothing. It's kind of amazing. She, I, I think it doesn't say anything from her perspective, but it talks about like the sheer fragility of her in front of the Primarch, mm -hmm. regardless of her. So I guess well, I mean that's just everybody. I guess where I am, so. Primarchs haven't shown off any power beyond just physical. They do have not yet. Okay, cool. Oh yeah. Cool. Yeah, I guess I and it's it's not even that um, like they're all good at something. Um, they they all excel at something, but they're all good at the same things. Um, yeah, they don't really have any abilities aside from genius on the battlefield. Well, like, they're, say, like, they're they're the reason that like Goku never loses. Even if he can't overpower anything, he's still just going to be smarter at fighting than somebody. Like he's he's going to learn how to be faster than time. <laughs> <laughs> it's it's all of that uh, stuff. Well, it kind of it kind of alludes to that like uh not the like the Luna Wolves seem to be like like well Loken specifically at least. Um, it's just like he's a genius on the battle. Like improvisation like in, the, in the moment. Bad yeah. becomes the thing. Like he just he knows badass. what he needs to do a couple moves ahead of time yeah. to be like, okay, this is how we minimize casualties. Yeah. 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 Even just the invisibles, right? Where it's just, yeah, like, all right, just like, like contrast, contrast, <laughs> contrast, look for shimmers. Um, like it's it's eight pages in the book, but it's ten seconds of his character doing a thing. Yeah. Like that's that's um, what I love about it. Because then the dude that's given the, the, the speech in the middle of the thing with uh see I've already forgotten his name again. Can you say his name again? Carcy. Carcy? That's it. Yeah. Um like and he and he's he's marveling at the two Astartes that are standing yeah. behind him and they're in yellow gear, I think. 
Um, and they're just, they're masters of fortification. Well, and, what was the guy doing this speech? Peter Egon Momus? Yes. They, they repeat his name, like, so many times. Yeah, and then eventually they just start calling him Momus, and I was like, thank God, <laughs> yeah. I don't want to read Peter Ego. E- it was Egon great Mo- hearing Momus. it in audiobook form. It's like, Peter Egon Momus is not this. Peter Egon Momus <laughs> is this. Peter Egon Momus. <laughs> like, it used to seem like he's going to be really important, huh? Yeah. I hope he dies. Anyway. I don't remember him being that important. <laughs> <laughs> um... So yeah, but like it, it's kind of cool that like each each different branch of the Astartes, it would seem have their own like, uh, you know, things that they're good yeah. at. Like you're saying, like all the Primarchs. Or yeah, like like Magnus good. the Red is the one that taps into the warp against the Emperor's judgment. The Luna Wolves are like the best in the field of battle, given what they have. Uh, the Death Guard are like immune to all forms of toxin, and they fight just with pure brutality. Um, the Emperor's children fight with grace, um, and yeah, they, they're all, they all have their own, like, tier that they follow. The, uh, Iron Fist, I always want to call them? Can't Please remember tell me they one. just walk around punching shit. So, th- they're the ones that are the <laughs> fortification... Imperial Fist? Imperial Fist. They are the fortification on Terra that I'm imagining Horus is gonna go head-to-head against, and that was the... mostly Terminators? That was the dialogue at the beginning of... Horus rising, uh, what happens when an unstoppable force meets an immovable object? Mm. I have a strong suspicion Horus is going to kill their Primarch. Who I really <laughs> like their Primarch a lot. Yeah. yeah how many like, Primarchs are left in current time? Are uh, they all dead? In 40k? Yeah. Like, as Primarchs still? Yeah. Oh, like it's... there's some conversions. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Yeah, that are as Primarchs? Two. I think. Wow. Two. Uh, six that were never found. Um... Four that are missing, believed to still be alive, but unsure. Others that have been, like, corrupted by chaos beings. And... Yeah, yeah. yeah. I was a gonna fair say, portion yeah. get corrupted. Actually, the, you know, one of the reasons I, I was so invested in Warhammer at the time was the Chaos Space Marines. I really yeah. like that whole concept. Please tell me they show up in this fucking series. Oh, uh, no, they won't be till 40k. I don't Not know. till... <sighs> Although, there is, um... No, it's Dark Angels. Do they at least allude to it? Like, like that, some right. people are like slowly losing. The events their of minds. the Horus Heresy is effectively like the slow creation of the. It wouldn't surprise me if, um, right? Not Fulgrim. I can't remember his name. He does have his own book. Uh, if that one talked about the the Chaos Marines, because uh, what uh, which game was it? I think it was the first Dawn of War game. You could be the Chaos Space Marines. Mm-hmm. Yeah, Space Marine. Uh, you like the latter half of the game. You're fighting Chaos guys. In that one. And like, and they they were just oh, yeah. they were just cool, right? Because they're like mostly all black. They have skulls like more, all over more them. More ornate armor as well, like, like more intricate. And they're just and like stuff. they they look horrifying. Like if you saw it coming towards you, just kill yourself or try right. and run and just die. Like yeah. it's just you know what I mean. Like the whole presence of them was just really cool. Anyway, and I really like being them. That's fair. They'll make you yeah, they're, suck they're cool. Yeah, I don't know when they're introduced in this. Because I, I know that there's already, like, the the Primarchs throughout the series. Some of them start to fall to Chaos. I guess their army has to as well. Come from somewhere. I just don't know who leads the Chaos Marines. Yeah. I wonder if there's a Primarch that like, is specifically the leader of the Chaos Marines. Like, gets corrupted first, yeah. and then... Well, because I'm maybe, trying to think maybe of which... His... Maybe his influence just starts to corrupt people around him. I'm trying to and think it seems of which like one would be in this timeline. Like very little, very few people seem to have any awareness of the dangers of the warp in in this where we are in in time right now. Mm-hmm. Whereas, like we know, 40k times, it's like, yo, people get corrupted. There's <laughs> yeah, there's some shit. There's going chaos. There. Like yeah, don't go there. <laughs> yeah. Sorry, I'm just looking up Chaos yeah. Marines. Like, there are parts in Horus Rising where it's just like, yes, like, some characters are like, oh yeah, like, we, we know about some stuff. You're, you're not supposed to. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, here's what's kind of up. It's like, wait, this has been like this for how long? Oh, <laughs> such corrupt Astartes normally belong to one of the nine original traitor legions. So nine that's nine Primarchs. Legions. Chaos kind of corrupt Astartes at any time and place. I won't read the last half because that's spoiler, but any time, any place, you know that. You'll know that very soon. Um, and I guess, yeah, the more the Imperium uses the warp, the more they expose the, their forces to it. Yeah. 
Because then, like, if a ship is going through the warp, then everybody on the ship is susceptible. Well, to that's it, right. That's the reason for a Geller field, though. That's what protects against that, or yeah. is supposed to. I was gonna say, is it a hundred percent effective? Though? Probably not. Geller oh. fields probably have weaknesses in them. It would make sense if it was one powerful psyker that created that, because I think Horus is traveling without one. Really? Yeah. But I thought it was supposed to be like you travel without a Geller field. And it's like immediate horror on your ship. Like people stuffing each other's heads up their assholes and wearing maybe that's... their foreskins as eyeball coverings. Like <laughs> Maybe that's how it goes. <coughs> I didn't need that image. Thank you. <laughs> yeah, I'm trying to see if there's a, a leader. That's why some people say that the movie Event Horizon is like a, a prequel to the 40k universe. Oh, yeah. Yeah. I've never seen that. It's a horror movie about the first ship capable of faster than light travel because it folds space and time. It travels through an alternate realm and comes out somewhere else, but on its maiden voyage, it like pops into the other space and never pops out until like many years later, and it's like, what's up with this? So they send a, a crew to the ship to check it out, including its original designer. Uh, no response from the ship at all. They get to the ship. It's just completely empty, but then they start finding evidence of like, horrifying stuff happening on it turns out where it traveled to is what many would refer to as hell <laughs> oh interesting i hope it covers this shit in the books so the uh, is this more about the chaos space marine yeah yeah there's not necessarily a leader of the chaos space marines because it's led by the gods of chaos then under them is the primarchs uh, this is just a list of uh, which Primarchs are alive and which ones are dead. Oh, so like they have their and own set is... of Primarchs and shit. And... Yeah, yeah. Uh, it's and it's corrupted versions, but uh, there's twenty Primarchs in total, and uh, nine turn evil. Yikes! So, that's, that's a lot of powerful. Um, things. And I know for a fact <laughs> at least five of them die. So that leaves humanity with fewer Primarchs than. Yeah. Yeah. And an emperor. Oh, but there is a handful of dead uh, traitor primarchs as okay. well. So I don't know what the exact numbers are, and I don't really. But and an emperor either. that can't fight back. As far as we're aware of, yeah. yeah. Well, I was gonna say unless they're in the room with him, right? Chances are, is he's probably like a powerful psychic force. He, maybe he has the ability to just kill them where they stand. Uh maybe he has the power to kill people across the galaxy. Ooh. He seems maybe like he's he can got some shit going on across the galaxy. And do a lightsaber <laughs> fight with Kylo Ren. <laughs> yeah, that's what I was thinking. How, how great would it be? On the best map of Star Wars Battlefront 2. No! How great Absolutely. would it be? <laughs> how great would it be if it turned out, like, at the end of, like, the current 40k timeline? Just turned out, like, psych, that Emperor was just, a like, a decoy the that whole time. That was also False Terra? No, not, not also False Terra, but, like, that, like, husk machine that they were feeding souls to was, like... Just a like a gathering mechanism for power or something like that. And the, the other emperor spent the last ten thousand years making the perfect pasta. <laughs> or like, I was, I was so invested <laughs> in what he was saying, and then he said that and I went, "Man, I should just kill you." <laughs> Sorry, I cut you off. But yeah, like the the real emperor is actually still physically intact and ready to go. It's just he's been biding his time, gathering power. How dope would that be? Like some of the bad Primarchs like finally make it in and they kill him. He just kicks the wall and just <laughs> the fuck out of them. I was in the room, the other room, the whole time. And guess what? My spirit bomb is my fucking huge. <laughs> so if they make a movie, I need Terry Crews to be the, the Emperor. Yeah, oh, the, the Emperor. Emperor. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Just kicks the wall down. I like the idea that like all these images of the emperor because I've seen some pictures. It's like this giant, immaculate, like golden haired, yeah. like almost Jesus figure or whatever. That is just Terry. It's just Ted, Terry <laughs> Crew. <laughs> like the Primarchs are actually bigger than him. Yeah, like yeah. physically taller. Like maybe not as muscular. Like maybe twice the size, but he's just beating the fuck out of them. <laughs> like just one punch man. Yes. Yeah. Uh, that would be good. <laughs> All right, I think that's uh, I think that's a podcast. You can email us at just kind of at gmail dot com. Get out of town. Podcast over smooth butts. Loafing. Oh, he said smooth butts. Uh,